What's up, Rock Dad 1984 and today, wait, what's that little thumbs up icon and the bell icon next to the word subscribe me? Huh. Anyway, uh, today we are going to demo a game. Uh, we're going to play Octopath Traveler, the prologue demo, for the very first time. I've never played this game, so we're going to check it out together. So without further ado, let's jump into it, shall we? Close the software you're currently using. Yeah, I play Zelda too, so we're gonna go ahead and close that. And let's experience this game together. Yeah, I'm Rock Dad. Let's go ahead and jump into this. I'm pretty excited. I don't know what it's about. Nintendo had some games that could be demoed, so I went ahead and downloaded a few to check them out. And I thought it'd be really cool to demo it through YouTube with you guys. Okay, so thank you for downloading the Octopath Traveler demo. A few things you need to know before you set out on your journey. In this demo, you can play for three hours from the start of the game as recorded in your saved game file. Okay, you can choose any of the eight protagonists just as in the full version of the game. Okay, cool. You will also be able to carry over your saved game data and use it in the full game. Oh, cool. So when it comes out, whatever progress I make in the demo, I can use in the full game. Very cool. Uh, some other tips. Travel beyond starting regions will be restricted. Later chapters of each protagonist's tale, as well as some side stories, are available only in the full game. Okay. Ooh, let's find out. Man. Acquire. <laughs> Unreal Engine 4. Very cool. I'm kind of excited. I don't do a whole lot of game demos. So, we're all in it for a treat. Ooh, I like the music. Oh, okay, cool. Octopath Traveler Prologue Demo. Let's see here. Let's, let's, let's see what the opening scenes are before I push any of the buttons. It looks like a real pretty game. It's kind of like a combination of like pixelation a little bit. I like it. I'm really liking it. It's cool looking. Oh, man. Oh, I'm getting kind of, you know, angst up. I'm excited to play. Okay, I think we're going to go from here. New game. Who are we going to choose? What we got here? Uh, the Cleric, Ophelia, uh, Path Action Guide. Ooh, I think my music might be a little loud. Let's turn that down. Your name is Ophelia, and you are a cleric. You hail from the snow-swept Frostlands, where you uh, dutifully serve the Order of the Flame under your adoptive father, the Archbishop. As your adoptive sister and best friend prepared to embark on a perilous pilgrimage, you stand ever at her side, but unbeknownst to the both of you, events are about to take a tragic turn. Well, so she's a summoner. She looks kind of cool, white dress, blonde hair, she's got some type of staff, her name's Ophelia. What we got over here? Oh, she's got a bow and arrow, she's got like fur covering her skin everywhere. Looks like she maybe from the snow, snowy mountains, so she's probably like a hunter. Let's see here. Oh, that's exactly what she is, she's a hunter. I can't even pronounce that name. Hi aunt. Hi aunt. <laughs> oh, you know what I just remembered? What that little thumbs up icon and that little bell icon next to the subscribe button? You're supposed to hit that if you like the content. The thumbs up, you give it a thumbs up. And the little bell icon is if you want to be notified when content gets created by the creators so that be like me. I just remembered what that meant. And then the subscribe button, that's if you want to you know, be a subscriber to that person's content so like me. Uh. Totally forgot what that meant, but now I remember. Okay, so uh, let's get back to our character here, this hunter. Her name is Ha Ant, and you are a hunter. Yay! One of the last descendants of an ancient clan that calls the Deep Forest home. Okay, cool. Your prowess with a bow is unmatched. Ooh, I kind of like the idea of a bow. Uh, your master left home one year ago, summoned to hunt a dread beast, and you protected the village while awaiting his return. 
Then one day, the return of an old friend gives you cause for concern, okay, and you strike out on a journey of your own. Okay, that sounds kind of cool. What else we got? Where are they at? Oh, here we go. Well, this one's kind of like a scholar. All right, let's see here. Oh, it is a scholar. So we have Cyrus, Path Action, Scrutinize, Talent, a Study Foe. This does not sound like me at all. Uh, your name is Cyrus, and you are a scholar. You teach at the Royal Academy in Atlas Dam, and though you have numerous admirers, your only true passion is the pursuit of knowledge. There's so much more I would learn. One day you realize that an invaluable tome has vanished from the Royal Library, queuing your insatiable curiosity. Hmm. Okay, I don't think that's going to be the one I go for. What else we got? Okay, this girl looks like a traveling merchant. She's got the whole backpack on and everything. And she is, in fact, a merchant. Her name is Teresa or Tressa. Path action, she purchases. She's got talent for an eye for money. Okay, so this is for you entrepreneurs out there, probably, or your philanthropist. <laughs> your name is Tressa, and you are a merchant. You stock the shelves at your parents' shop in your sleepy seaside hometown. Yet you often find yourself gazing out at sea, longing for something more. What lies beyond the horizon? You thought you'd never know the answer. Then one day, an unfamiliar vessel weighs anchor at the docks, changing your life forever. Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. Well, here we go. Uh, well, I guess we'll just go in descending order. Primrose, cool. She looks like a dancer. She is. Path action. She allures and she does summons. Okay. Your name is Primrose, and you are a dancer. You ply your trade in the pleasure district of Sunshade, a town forever shrouded in darkness. Oh, that's too bad. In truth, you are a high-born daughter of the once proud house Azelheart, in an identity you conceal from all. Okay, three men bearing the mark of the crow, they took my father from me. But you will have your revenge. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, here we go. The warrior. He even looks like a stoic like type character for warrior. Um, path action challenge. His talent is bolstered defense. Uh, what is his name? Ulberic. And you are a warrior. Once a proud knight, you lost both king and kingdom in a bloody coup. Today, you serve as a master at arms for a remote mountain village. To what end do I swing my blade? The question tortured you night after restless night. Then one day, you overhear a name from your past, giving you a new purpose. So, in the coop, I guess I lost the guy I was supposed to be protecting, so now I'm, like, looking for my purpose. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. I thought they said there was eight. Oh, here we go. Seven. Theon! Oh, he's a thief. Oh, no, it's Therion. Uh, steals. He can pick locks. Oh, this one sounds cool. Maybe he's really sneaky. Uh, your name is Therion, and you are a thief. Oh look, he's tossing something up and down, maybe a coin? While you pass his guarded secret, you exploits exploits are known far and wide. Mere whispers of your extravagant heist strike fear into the hearts of the wealthy. Drifting into the clifflands, one day you hear a rumor of great riches to be had. You set sights on a mansion said to be impregnable, only to find out what you never expected. Okay, and I guess this is our last one right here. Uh, man, Apothecary, Alfin, Path Action, Inquire, his talent is concoct, so is he like uh, an alchemist maybe? Maybe he makes like potions and stuff? Your name is Alfin, and you are in um, Apothecary, you treat the wounded and sick in a small village. Oh, okay, so kind of like a medic. And amid the babbling brooks of the riverlands, stricken ill as a child, you were saved by a traveler who asked for nothing in return, inspiring you to follow in his footsteps. Oh, cool. Though hesitant to leave the only home you've known, your best friend convinces you to follow your dream wherever it may lead you. Ooh, that's a good friend. Influencing you to follow your dream. Okay, so I am thinking, I'm kind of like, I like helping people. So I kind of like the idea of being the medic. Uh, the thief sounds fun for sneaking around, maybe for lock picks and stuff, but the hunter, where's she at? Over here. Something about using a bow and arrow sounds pretty cool to me. Um, so I think I'm gonna go with her. Plus I like the snow, so I'm hoping maybe I start in the snow map. So we're gonna go with her. Begin your adventures as Hunt. I don't, I don't even think I'm saying that right, but we're gonna go for it. 
Yes. All right. Very cool. Very cool. One year ago. Oh, I think I'm push. I'm supposed to push buttons. Good. Thou hast yet to depart. Oh, I'll turn it up. Maybe somebody will say my name so I can pronounce it correctly. Oh, we got a little pet with us. It looks like a like, mountain lion. My sentiment, my girl. More like a snow leopard, maybe. It do be moving me to leave without bidding my favorite apprentice a fair thing well. Very cool! A Our dunt. Our dunt. taken us to distant lands, and the beast we pursue is a fearsome one. I wonder if I could turn the music down so we can hear the dialogue better. I see. <laughs> Look a not so glum girl. <laughs> Uncle Tyro with green arrows and bruises on his bow arm. Oh, I'm liking their dialogue. They're doing really good with it. not the hunt that concerneth me. Thou intendest to stop an off somewhere along the way. Ooh. Crosses his arms. Thinks about a response. He's caught. <laughs> well, here and there may happen. Why dost thou ask? Thou forgettest or feignst ignorance, so I will remind thee. On the last hunt, thou gambledest away thy purse and came back a poorer man than thou left. Oh man, that's not a good habit to have, that's for sure. Poor and coin, yeah. Yes, I did make a few wagers at the arena in Victor's Hollow. Victor's Hollow. Something tells me that's going to come back up later down the game. Uh, later down the road in the game. And learn. I have a keen eye for assessing the strength of beasts. I am quite at a loss with men. A valuable lesson that was cheaply bought. Hmm. Not so cheap in the end. She the is giving him a hard time. Thy debts, and thou only finished its paying her back this last moon. Promise me, Master, no more foolish gambling. <laughs> <laughs> What have the old hunters saying? If the first arrow faileth, knock a second. Try again. Not so much with coin, maybe. Thou just madest that one up. <laughs> Thou just madest that one up. Makes me want to start talking like that. Come now, girl. Thou art too young by half for such world weary sighs. Must thou makest our parting soon for me? She gonna pet the wolf. I turn to thee, Hagen. Looking after Master. But he can rarely be bothered to looking after himself. <laughs> Burn. That's funny. <clears throat> oh, wow, nice. That was a good bark. Even thou takest her side against me, old friend. He knoweth good sense when he heareth it. <clears throat> <laughs> That's awesome. Growlest thou not at me, thou faithless turncoat? Oh man, we'll turn you into a jacket. Hail, Hanit. Have you come to see us off? Hanit. Have you come to see us off? I have come in to warn Master about straying from the path. Hanit. I gotta try to remember that. And I thank you for it. I do not have the leaves to pay another debt like that. 
Have I not a single ally in this infernal village? This is a long opening dialogue scene, but I kind of get. Uh, I'm your friend, but I'm it's, also it's kind of setting the tone. I like it. Mind. You would do well not to forget this. Not for a moment, most honorable Lady Eliza of the illustrious Knights Ardant. Hmm, Ardant. <laughs> That's more like it. Fear not. I'll keep him out of trouble. I'll have him fill his evenings penning a detailed account of our adventures on the hunt. Taken care, and may thine arrows strike true. I shall look after the forest till the day of thy return. Thank thee, my girl, and farewell. So is two moons like two nights? Is that what that's supposed to mean? I mean, they're making it seem like it's going to be a long time. Is two moons supposed to be like uh, like a new moon each month, maybe? Since that day. Oh, a year hath passed. Wow. In all that time, Master could only be bothered to send him a single letter. It's a long time. A year. Harnet, tis me thou revered Master. Missest me? Missest me? <laughs> Should use that I with the wife, maybe. I deal with any blather about the weather or the season. Who knoweth when this will even arrive, after all? For three months now, I have pursued the trail of the beast sought by the Knights Ardant. A beast by the name of Red Eye. Ooh. Red Eye Beast. That's their name for it, leastwise. As for its true name, if it even has one, one can say. But on my father's bow, I swear, it is the most vexing quarry I've ever had the misfortune to hunt. Okay. It appears by every trap, and though thou think me mad for saying this, I swear it can even sense of every move I make. Oh, so this red eye beast is really smart and clever and cunning. Because he's supposed to be a pretty big deal, you know, in regards to being a hunter. So if he can't do it, I wonder what makes me think I can do it. We're going to find out. Maybe because we want to go save him? I know not if it is human intelligence or pure animal instinct. But either way, it refuseth to be caught. Still, we appear to have annoyed it sufficiently that it is moving on to new pastures. Judging from its behavior, I believe it meaneth to make for the lands around Stoneguard. Stoneguard. Mental note made. I will be frank with you, my girl. Thou hast always been able to see me through my pretenses. The chase will be hard, and the hunt will not end us soon. Interesting. Okay, so that's why he's been gone for so long. But fear not, for endeth it shall, as though ever was your master to fail me. Oh, maybe that's why he doesn't want to return. He doesn't want to be considered a failure. And so I ask you, my dear apprentice, pray you look after the village until I return. Who would be not a worry wart? Always thy worry wart? teacher, Zanta. Zanta. Never heard Master admit it. Either this red eye is truly the most formidable of beasts, or he's stopping in every gambler's den from here to Stoneguard. That's a pretty strong possibility from what we gathered earlier. But no. Master liketh to act in the fool, but when it cometh to hunting, if he saith he will catcheth his quarry, then catcheth it he will. Oh, cool! We got to hear, uh, what is that? Lindy? Lind? Yes, Linda. I know. Linda. Master entrusted the safety of the village to me. My duty now is to the villagers. It's a long prologue, right? Come in. Let him us visit in the headman and see if anyone hath need of my bow. Visit the headman? Okay. And see if anybody needeth of my bow. Okay, so use the radar in the bottom right to check the area and find your healing. Or heading, excuse me. 
Continue the story here. Side story starting point. Save point is like a little feather quill looking thing. And then hidden item is a exclamation point. Other exits to neighboring areas. Okay. Press the R button to turn the radar on or off. Well, we're going to close this. And speak with the head man. Now, over here, we look like we got like an item shop, a little puppy. Uh, I'm not quite sure. A villager. A villager. This looks like a spot to save. Quite possibly the head man who's at the edge of town. Really like how all this is looking. This looks like maybe a tavern based on the... Oh, what's this little chest here? You obtain an spiritine plum. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we can open the tavern. Um, this looks like maybe the inn. Let's talk to let's talk to this one. She was closest to us. Good day. Oh, so not all the characters speak. I have to do the okay, so the villager. This is Sawarki, home to a clan of hunters that has lived in the dark wood since times of yore. Okay. Oh, there's another little thing over here. Um, a healing grape. Excellent. Plums and grapes is what we got so far. Hello. Hunter, I haven't taken a day off from my training in 10 moons. <laughs> one day I'll be Master uh, Zanta's number one apprentice, just thou waiting. Okay. Uh, I don't want to go in there yet. We're just talking to all the village people real quick. <laughs> the village people. <laughs> okay. Uh, villager. Hey, no visitors allowed. All right. This one's green. Why is that green? Hanet, Headman, how might my bow serveth ye today? Hello. Hello. Every day thou comest here seeking work. Sometimes I wonder if thou art truly thy master's apprentice. But jesting aside, no, there is no hunt today. <laughs> I see. Hanet, is there aught else I might do or do? Hmm. Hmm. Well, the youngsters are always in need of lessons. Thou couldst have given them a lesson or two in bowmanship. The clan of the Darkwood inherited the law of the beasts and the trees. I don't know how long I can keep that up for, but we're going to try. <laughs> Yet today, only thou and Zanta can truly use that lore. Why, when I was a mere stripling... <laughs> Yes, yes, I have heard your stories before, and I know how long they are. <laughs> we don't want any more drawn out long dialogue. Let's just get to some training, shall we? <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Long-winded tales are the vice of many an old man. My apologies, child. But if thou could have showed the youngsters the way of the hunt, I would be grateful. I'm asking ye. I'm asking ye. I saw two of them. Waiting eagerly in the square, perhaps thou couldst start in with them. Yes. It will be done. Okay, so... Oh, cool, we don't even have to navigate there, it's just gonna bring us to it. Uh, utilize each character's unique action to overcome any obstacle. Okay, so path action's gonna be done with Y. And try pressing Y in front of a townsperson. Okay. Can you use beast to provoke people into battle? Oh, cool, okay, okay, okay. Let's provoke some people into battle, then. Provoke. Oh, I gotta hit this button. Fledging Hunter. Strength. Okay, provoke this individual? Yes. Go forth, my friend. Fledgling Hunter. Training time, isn't it? I'm ever ready. Letting us begin. Okay. Letting the hunt begin. So, what are we doing here? Sweep, sword attack, pounce, pull arm attack. Well, let's start with... Oh, cool! What? Break 121? Okay, they're vulnerable. Maybe they're dazed. Maybe that's what the stars mean. Forest fox? What's the forest fox gonna do? Oh, okay, so we use animals to attack with? That was kind of cool. We got untouched. Uh, we got a bonus break. And we got quite a bit of experience. Okay, cool. Healing grape obtained from defeating this poor child. <laughs> and he's knocked out. Fledging hunter. Uh, why'd you have to hit so hard? <laughs> now then. 
Valus grows adept at fighting. He didn't do anything. Silly. You just beat up this poor child. But thou must be more cautious than ever, for thou now knowest just enough to get thyself into trouble. Oh. I will thank thee, Hanet. Next one? Yup. Let's go over here, shall we? Let's, we're, gonna, we're gonna take you on too. Let's provoke. Uh, this one's the same strength. Go forth, my friend. Pray, teaching me Huntress Hanet. Let us begin. Okay, they're vulnerable. Let my arrow fly in true. Mossy Meek restores health. Okay, let's go for... Nice! It like shoots something out of its tail. That's pretty cool. What next? I don't think I have a pole arm. I really don't need to restore health. I guess... What's boost for R? Oh, cool! Done. <laughs> we we totally vaporized them. Untouched and break bonus. And we leveled up! Woohoo! And we got Herb of Light. They're both knocked out. <laughs> Ugh. Well. Well. Thou thou feelest more attuned to thy surroundings. Uh, yep. Yep, sure do. I'm just gonna lay here on the floor for a little bit, stare at the sky, and ponder my life choices. <laughs> yes, I feel much more able at anticipating where Swift Quarry might dartest next. I like how my snow leopard is just kind of hanging out in the background there. Very good. An important lesson that. Huntress Hanet! Exclamation point? Mm hmm? What is it? Um, well, really? The headman sent me to find thee. He said he must speak it with thee right away. Understood. Then I will make haste. Is he at home, I take it? That's right! <laughs> That's not at all what the text says! Yes, follow me! Uh, okay, press B and hold the skip. Okay. Should we do that? Greetings. Headman, you wish to see me? Hmm. Hmm. Yes, a request hath come in from the Demence. Or Demise? De Demonize? No. Demence of Lord Chiron? It would seem a beast hath strayed into his provincial forest. I see. And he will. Oh, and he will gone. Man, the the dialogue and my normal speech. I'm I'm gonna struggle, but we're gonna get through this. Just so he asks for our best hunter. And while Master Zanta is off on the hunt, that meaneth thee. Mm. Understood. I'm asking ye. I'm asking ye, always remember, Hanet, since time immemorial, ours been a village of great hunters and huntresses. Yes, far and wide, beyond the edges of the dark wood, our home. She's gonna be like, stop it. <laughs> no more. <laughs> right there, right? All she needs to do is just add that uh, shoulder touch. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> the bard singeth of our exploits. All the realm lauded fair, Sawarki as the home of the true hunter. Is that now how it went? Yeah, she, she knows the legends, apparently. Ho oh, oh, ho, have I told her that many times? Long-winded tales, my dear. Well, that's all you got left sometimes, you know, is your stories. Are the vice of an old man. Yes, as for the hunt, I am ready when needed. Splendid. Splendid. Excellent, Lord... Siren's messenger awaiteth inside. He will tell thee all thou needest to know. I am ready. I am ready. I will speak to him at once. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Hanet, preeth doubt not Master Zanta with thee not. What? What? Hanet, preeth thou not Master Zanta 
Would thee not? Okay, maybe he's asking me not to go after him, maybe? Fair befallen thee. Of course, thank you. Such uh, interesting tongues they use, huh? I'm digging it, though. Well met. Well met. My apologies for the urgency of the matter, but monsters pay little heed to the convenience of men. Nay. Nay. Shoulder shrug. I'm here to serve. Telling me more about this beast. Eh. Your quarry is to be a fearsome beast that has wandered into the Whisper Wood from the gods nowhere. Hmm. A monster that has strayed from its home. Hmm. Yes. I just this morning, a merchant and an injured companion fetched up at our manor in frightful shape. Ooh, a merchant. I wonder if it's that girl that we could have chose earlier in the game. Are they going to be intertwined? That's going to be cool. As one man told it, the other was in no condition to speak. Their caravan had been waylaid by the beast, and they were the only survivors. This bird is ill. How dost thou know knowing this creature was responsible? Well, actually... Lord Siron's scholars were called upon to investigate the matter. From the merchant's testimony, they concluded the men were attacked by a savage beast known as a... Gisamara? Gisarma? Maybe the G is silent? Hismara? Truly. I have heard of this creature. Its baleful roar would make it unlikely fit for the tranquil whisper wood. His lordship is most anxious to protect his subjects, needless to say. He seeks the help of the most capable hunter in this village. And so, is Master Zanta's absence, we turn to you. What say you, Hanet? Will you free our fair province of this unholy menace? I am ready. Tell him thy lord, I shall fail him. Shant. Shant. That's the word she used. I shan't fail him. Lord Sirion's herald. Indeed. There is dignity about you that Master Zanta lacks, but I see you share his passion for your calling. I hope you will continue to inherit only his better qualities. <laughs> no gambling then? <laughs> Master is a fine teacher. He showeth by example, but what a hunter outeth and outeth not do and <laughs> not to do in. <laughs> okay. Ha ha ha. Well said. Yes. Indubitably. <laughs> it would seem we are in safe hands indeed. Hmm. Yes, thou art. Oh, she's feeling very confident about herself. I like it. Well, saving your progress. We should definitely save our progress. We don't want to have to go through all this dialogue again. You never know when your danger might strike, so be sure to save often. Keep an eye out for this monument. You can find save points in towns, overworld areas, and dungeons. Oh, yeah, cool. We're going to check out some dungeons today. That'd be super cool. Okay. Empty. Let's choose this one. Save this slot. Yes. Now saving. Please do not power off your Nintendo Switch. Save successful. Excellent. And I guess I have to talk to him. Oh, let's battle him. <laughs> let's do it. Yes. Go forth, my friend. How well hast thou learned Zanta's tricks? I shall test in you. Oh, man. Okay, so maybe this guy's going to maybe make me require you. to use my health. He's vulnerable. Okay, man, look at that. He is like dazed and confused what right now. Next? Let's go with the forest box. The hunt ends. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Is this gonna be a trend? I shall hope it's so. <laughs> it seems we have won. <laughs> uh, I can't provoke him no more. I guess we'll let him go. <laughs> We're just gonna leave him on the floor knocked out. Okay, cool. We get to finally explore the world. Um, it does not look... Oh, how do I access the map? Is that with X? Yes! Look at that! That's cool. You got the cool little spinning thing at the top there. Kind of looks like a compass rose. World map, journey, inventory, equipment, status. What do I have in my inventory? Healing grape, 
in Spiriting Plum, Olive of Life, Herb of Light, the Hand Axe, the Longbow, the Buckler, the Leather Hat, and the Leather Vest. Very cool. Okay. Um, equipment. What do we got? Oh, it doesn't seem like I can navigate this screen very well. Okay. Status. We're good. Miscellaneous. What's in miscellaneous? Settings, tutorial, return to the title. No, we don't want to do that. Let's get on with the gameplay. I need to figure out how to get back that direction. We can go this way, maybe? Um, can I change the camp? Oh, I'm glad we went this way. Oh, we encountered, um... What is this? Okay, battling basics, breaking enemies, exploit, exploit your foe's weaknesses, turn the tide of battle in your favor. Uh, attack your foe's weak point. Okay, they're vulnerable. Bow with right. To lower the shield points, reduce shield points to zero to break your foe. Hanet can utilize both bows and axes in battle. Uh, select a text and choose the one you want to use with the directional button. Okay. So, Let my arrow fly in truth. Attack a single foe with an equipped weapon. Yes. Okay. Nice! Oh, now look at it. It's dazed and confused. Okay, break your foes to drastically reduce the defense. Press the R button to enter boost mode. And the potency of your attacks and abilities will surge. You gain one boost point per uh, turn. You can spend up to three boost points uh, to your character three levels of power. Um, if you use boost mode, you will not gain any boost points on the following turn. Okay. I guess we use boost. Uh, and then we're gonna attack a single foe twice with an equipped weapon. Let's do the axe on this one. Nice! Where's the uh, the life of this thing? Do we get to see? Let's try the arrow. And they're vulnerable to the arrow, it looks like. Nice! Oh, and it's dazed again. Okay, let's do beast lore. And we're gonna summon a beast. And we're gonna do Linda, Linda I think it was. 205! What? That was awesome! And we went up in experience. Okay, cool. Very cool. Essence of Palmar Granite. Okay. And we're gonna go pick up this uh, Soul Stone. Cool. Shadow Soul Stone, actually. Let's go this way. I wonder if there's a way to get back to where we saw back there. Ooh, a golden chest? Oh, here we go. Here's a path. We're gonna go this way. Who we Oh! It's a mouse with a bow and arrow! We don't know what they're vulnerable to. Let's start with Beast Lore. Let's summon Beast. Let's bring out uh, Linda. 111. Okay. We might get attacked here in a second. Ooh, 28 damage. Oh, we can do twice. Okay. Let's boost. And we're going to hit him with the bow and arrow. How do you like it? Oh, strong shot. Let's... I don't think. We're going to go with Beast Lore this time. Uh, capture and tame a monster to be summoned into battle later. Huh. Can I capture this guy? Let's try it. Chance of success, 100%. We're going to do it. Skills attack is bow and arrow. Capture this foe. Yeah, let's try it. You captured the beast. Very cool. So now we got another beast that we can use in our arsenal. That's so cool. Items attained. We didn't get anything out of that battle. But we captured something, so that's pretty cool. And we're going to access this cool golden chest. 500 coins, perhaps? Pounds, maybe? I don't know. Euros? I don't know. Oh, there's a... Oh, here we go. Another attack. Standest thou against me. Okay, then so we should we summon somebody to shoot this thing? The hunt beginning. Hunter skills. Use a hunter skill. What did we got? Rain of arrows. True strike. Deal critical damage with the bow to a single foe. Random uh, attack. Random foes five to eight times with the bow. Let's do rain of arrows. Let's rain see what that looks like. Oh, nice. That's not all I thought it was gonna be, but that's still pretty cool. Okay. Let's try another hunter skills. Let's do true strike. Okay, I'm digging it. <laughs> um, what else we got? Item, defend, flee. We don't want to flee. Let's attack. 
no, we've been attacking. Let's go with the beast lore. We're gonna summon beast. Let's do another Radikin. Is that what they're called? Radikin? Ratkin? Getting shot by your own kind, how does it feel? Oh, they missed. Okay, let's do another beast one. Let's do the fox this time. 112. This guy's got some exp uh, some life to go. I'm not doing too good, we need to take him out. I'll tell you what we're gonna do, we're gonna heal up. Summon beast, mossy meat, restore health. 500, that's good. Alright, let's do Max. Got him! What the break? Oh, and he's dazed! What next? Let's do it again. This time we're gonna boost up. We'll do it twice. Yeah! So cool! So cool! I'm liking this game so far. You obtain Inspiriting Plum. Mm, I'm glad we have that. Let's go this way, yeah? Um, I guess this is a save point? Well, let's go ahead and save. Override existing game? Yeah, might as well. Save successful. Excellent. And uh, we're at level 3. And now we're into the Whisper Wood. Oh, maybe not. Okay, we still don't know what he's vulnerable to. I think we should start off with first. Do some beast lore. We're gonna do summon beast. And I think we're gonna do Linda. I mean, 168 damage is pretty good. 31 damage, I can take that. Another 31 damage? Only 35 that time. Let's do a hunter skill. Rain of arrows, true strike. 78 damage, very nice. What was that called? I'm asleep now? Oh no! Okay, I'm awake now. That's good. Yes! With the break. He's vulnerable to the axe! That's what we're gonna do then. The hunt so now we know they're vulnerable to the axe because it showed that little icon next to it with the question mark. Okay, good to know. We learned something. Great. Items obtained. What did we obtain? Uh oh. Everybody's knocked down. <clears throat> Spirits have mercy. This was not done in the name of survival. The Gish Armara sought not food, it sought sport and wanton slaughter. It sleuthed these men and beasts for no reason other than as a fearsome show of its dreadful power. Uh oh, are they gonna attack me or are they gonna befriend me? And be added to my arsenal of animals. This bird is ill. I see thou tremblest, little one. Thine heart is filled with fear. Thou witnessed what the beast did. It maddeth thee bear witness. <laughs> Patience. I shall return and attend to the fallen. But first they shall be avenged. Are they going to join me? I'm hoping they do. Will thou protect them, friend, until my return? Oh, I guess they can do that. Thanks to thee. I shall return on him. To eaten, to beaten. This is the fate and the privilege of any beast of the forest. A life for a life, so it hath been since the dawn of time. Mm. An eye for an eye, eat or be eaten, oh, kill or be killed. Yeah. But to slain for sport, for pleasure or greed, is to betray the law of nature. Mm. That's a good way to look at it. Each time a creature taketh more than it needeth, a part of the forest dieth. I hunt not merely to keep Lord Sauron's people safe. I hunt to save in the forest itself. Oh, now she has a purpose. Besides being hired, now she's like, okay, I need to protect this forest. This beast needs to be stopped. Oh, we have a lantern. Okay. 
Uh, I'm imagining I can go multiple areas. I could follow the illuminated path. Oh, we got a chest over here. Let us get the chest. Now, let's Wait a minute! Hunt. This looks like one of my foxes. Let's try with the bow and arrow. It is vulnerable to bows. Excellent. The hunt. Keep hitting it. Jeez. Scratch me. I'm, I imagine it might be vulnerable to axes, maybe? Nope, not so much. Ooh, I need to summon my mossy meat. Restore my health, please. Thank you very much. There is something still wrong with me, though. I have a lot of black stuff going on. Uh, let's try Beast Lore. We're gonna summon Linda. Uh, we're still hurting a lot. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's boost up. And we're gonna get back to Bone Arrow. We know it's vulnerable to it. Oh, there we go. Oh, thank goodness. Now, I wonder, am I still poisoned by whatever that was? We leveled up! No items were obtained in that fight, however. Let's go open up this chest. In Spirit Team Plum! Man, I wonder how long it's going to take me to find this giant beast. I saw more chests back this way, and I imagine I have to follow these illuminated torches. I saw a chest this way, so this is where we're going to go. Ooh, it's a gold chest. 600 uh, coin! Very cool! Oh! Who are we battling now? Ah, oh, it's another one of these guys! And see, look, there it goes. It shows that they are weak. Two axes. We get to go again because he's dazed and confused. Okay, this time he's gonna attack. What next? I just want to take him down with the axe. I think this time. That was a weak attack, though. There we go. Dazed it again. Uh, we're gonna keep hitting it. Yes, we got it. Very cool, very cool. So I think I'm supposed to remind you uh, about that thumbs up button, as well as that notification bell and that subscribe button. I think I'm supposed to tell you to do that like a lot in a YouTube video, but I don't know if, if I need to tell you to like, like and subscribe um, and comment on my videos or to hit that notification bell. I think, I think we all know that, but I just remembered that they were there, you know, that thumbs up button, that notification bell button, and that subscribe button. I just remembered they were all there, and I wanted to make sure you remembered that they were there. So, you know, don't forget about that. <laughs> essence of a grape! Oh, what does the essence of a grape do? Let's find out, shall we? So, um, let's hit the inventory button. Healing grape! Ah, okay. Restores HP to a single ally. Well, we don't need to use that right now. Restores SP to a single ally? Special points, maybe? Olive of Life revives and, and restores, restores HP to a single fallen ally. Cures any single ally of blindness. Deals dark damage to all foes. The Buckler. Oh, I can't wait till we start getting more inventory items. Do you sick? Oh, we got a little save point up ahead. Alright, so far, this is pretty cool. I'm enjoying this game a lot. Let's save. Save often, it says. Over at existing game, yes. <laughs> save successful, very cool, very cool. And let's see here. And that's gonna be it for today's demo. Uh, I wonder what's going to happen to Hanette. Are we going to be able to find the beast that's been um, ravishing the woodlands? Tune in next time to find out. And, you know, if you haven't hit that like button yet, you know, the one with the thumbs up, do me a solid, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to me yet, I mean, you know, you could subscribe to me. That'd be really cool. I know I would like it a lot, but, you know, hit that subscribe button. It's right there. Just hit that subscribe bell button. And hit that notification bell so that whenever I make these promos or my YouTube videos, you'll be notified and you can watch it as soon as I upload it. So, you know, thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. And